All right, so I just want to show you some other provisioning things like local exec, remote exec, and uh, file. So let's get to it. Um, for local exec, I'm just going to go ahead and Google that quickly here. Local exec Terraform. Not working. Let's just say it is working here, and we'll scroll on down. And so what this is going to do is run a local command or uh, execute something locally on the machine that is running Terraform. Now, right now, we are using a remote provider. So where this is going to run is actually in the run environment, which is not very useful to us. So what we're going to do is switch back to the, the local provider here in a moment. But uh, we're just going to go and add this provisioner. Just use the default one here that is provided to us from the documentation. I'm going to go up the top here, and I'm going to comment this out. So we'll go here. I'm not used to migrating from remote to local, so I'm, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, probably, actually, before we do that, we should go and tear down our infrastructure. So before I do that, I'm just going to go terraform destroy. We'll just say apply, delete, auto approve. Okay. Terraform, did I spell Terraform wrong? Delete, it should be that. Well, I'll just do Terraform uh, delete then, that's fine. I'm spelling something super wrong here, Terraform. Good. Destroy. You know what it probably is? It's probably the destroy flag. There we go. And so we're just going to tear down what we have and then uh, we will set this up for local and then we will deploy that. Okay. So I'll see you back here when that's all destroyed. All right. So our resources or our server is destroyed. So what I'm going to do is go here and comment out the remote backend for the time being. And we are going to do a Terraform uh, apply, or sorry, Terraform init, because we've changed out our backend, so it's now local. A change in the backend has been detected, which may require migrating existing state. Um, if you wish to migrate it, sure, we will say migrate to state. I'm not used to going from remote to local, but local to remote. But it seems like it worked out okay. So we'll say Terraform apply. Okay, and we should end up with a local state file. We'll say yes here. And so what I'm hoping that will happen is that we will, once this is done, it will output a file called private ips.txt in this folder, but we'll see what actually happens here. So I'll see you back here when the provisioning done and it actually has ran this private ips, okay? All right, welcome back. So uh, we had waited for this to execute and notice that it says local exec executing. And here is that file with those IP addresses. So that is how local exec works, okay? Um, so we'll move on to remote exec using the same file here.